Welcome my friends to day six of the GS Trophy 2020 here in New Zealand. This morning we're leaving the west coast and we're headed inland through the Orari Valley toward Lake Tekapo, one of the most colorful lakes in all of New Zealand. Today we realize the GS Trophy is not a sprint, it is a marathon. It is a 440 kilometer ride today, 120 of that is off road. Riders that are doing well are understanding that they must relax, pace themselves to get their way through. Next up is the Rent-A-Ride Challenge. Riders must enter the start gate and traverse a series of off-road obstacles, including a water crossing, and get back safely. But there's a twist. This is a uniquely timed event. As the first rider must set the time, the second rider must finish as closely as possible to the first rider's time. The third teammate gets to run the course as support. Now, they're not allowed to use a timing device, and they're not allowed to use the center communicating in their headset. So, how are they gonna do this? Let's, Let's take a look. Just when we think it can't get any better, it gets better. Again, we experienced another dramatic change in the landscape. We left a special test this morning and followed the river to the high mountains. And here we're beginning beautiful Arthur's Pass. You come to New Zealand and you see different types of beauty each day. The terrain today versus yesterday has changed so much. It's just a new kind of spectacular. The, the glacier fed rivers and the mountain passes and it's, it's so big and it's so beautiful. It's, it's hard to put into words. It, it should have hired poets. Straight from lunch, we find ourselves deep in the Arari Valley. And this is private land, but we have special permission to cross it. The teams have found themselves some technical sections. Now this is not a special challenge, but as the teams are finding out, sometimes just riding can be challenging. Here we have a water crossing, a tight turn, and a hill climb. Any one of which on its own can be difficult, but you combine the three and you run into some real issues. Grande Latam! Papa! We're wrapping up the day today at Lake Tekapa and it was just a really unique and wonderful day. And Jocelyn, I'm curious as to what it was that stuck out for you. Today, it, it truly felt like the spirit of GS. Good stuff. We've got two days left of the GS Trophy, so join us tomorrow for day seven of the GS Trophy 2020 here in New Zealand. And still in the lead, Team South Africa, 32 today is 309. Excellent results, guys.